So, welcome. Uh, as promised, we will now go over some um, creation of realistic, um, well, lighting out, yeah, outside lighting, outdoor lighting. Um, this is a very simple scene that I set up in like two minutes. I just uh, took some houses from my um, Istanbul uh, scene and uh, put them on a plane. And if we uh, render this, we get the Blender default lighting. Um, so this is only from the um, world around us. So uh, let's change this first. We will uh, use node, so I'll click that. Also keep in mind we're on cycles renderer. Um, for color we are not going to use a color, but instead a sky texture. That is um, yeah, a pretty nice um, starting point, but if we now render this we can see well, everything is, is quite dark and it doesn't look that well yet. So what we're going to do is, uh, I always just put the ground albedo up to 100%, which isn't really 100% correct, but it helps us uh, to bright this a bit up and yeah, to get a bit of nicer view. Um, this might not be uh, the right way to go when you go for a uh, hyper-realistic rendering, but for comic style it works fine. Because for um, really realistic rendering you will need to uh, stick at yeah like 0.3 to 0.5 values maybe. And then we need to um, increase the strength. Definitely do that also for realistic uh, renderings. But now we can see it already looks quite fine. But uh, of course we are missing a sound lamp. So uh, let's add a simple sun, which we will get from here, sun lamp. And I will let the sun come from the uh, top right corner. That is normally uh, the way I do it. Um, it's, it always looks quite natural. I don't know why, but it does. <laughs> um, and then of course I'm going to give it a yellowish color. And then I'm going to set the strength to uh, 3 or 4 or something. Which now looks almost good. Um, now one thing that I notice is that the shadows are very soft. And for this uh, scale of the scene it's not really working out because normally sun shadows are not that um, soft, they are way crisper. So let's set the sun size to point zero 0.02 maybe. It might be a nice size. Don't set it to zero because then the shadows are 100% harsh. That's not really nice as well. But now we see we have quite harsh shadows. We can um, render this on 100% resolution. And there we go. This is uh, one way to set up a very nice um, sky. Um, the other way is to use an HDRI map. Uh, HDRI maps are essentially images that um, yeah, are 360 degree, like all around you. And um, there are a couple of free ones out there on the web. If you Google it, you will probably find some. Um, yeah, now we see the shadows are quite crisp. Um, but it's it's almost the same to set up. But the difference is we're going to change the world of course. Instead of using a sky texture we're going to use an environment texture. Then we'll just open one up. I have quite a lot stored up here. Let's use um, CG Canyon. It's quite good like a canyon. We can have a look at it over here. If I um, enable background somewhere over here. Where is it? It's under display or shading. Or is it just in solid? No. Hm. Or we can also go to rendered view mode. This is a canyon. And the nice thing about this is that this has a very bright and bluish sky. I uh, really like this. Like everything 
below this you won't really be able to see this so doesn't matter that much anyway because the light coming from below will get stuck at the ground um, but especially the sun and the light that's uh, up here will appear in our scene so we have this strength at two that should look quite fine you couldn't see yeah it looks looks rather nice so um Blender Grow um, showed a very easy trick to enhance this even more. And the way he did it was if you go to the node editor, into the world tab, you can um, use some uh, math stuff to really amplify the strength of the uh, environment in a more realistic way. But I don't want to uh, just copy his technique so I will link the video right here and you can go and watch it and that's already it um, next time we will do some uh, free point lighting since it's the most common way for like rendering single models and I hope you're interested into that as well mm -hmm.